One of the single most important things that you can learn how to do is to learn how to create effective rhythms on your instrument, okay? Um, when I first started teaching guitar, and I have been teaching for over 25 years, but when I first started teaching, I had um, my first gig was actually uh, teaching a class. I'd never taught a private lesson in my life, and I was teaching a class, which is probably not the brightest thing to do. So I had to come up with my own course, right? So I had to create my own book and put a bunch of stuff in there and was all excited. The first thing I did was I started putting in some basic chords um, and then I put in some basic strums. You know, I would teach people how to do like, a, you know, like a down, 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 up, down or something like that. Um, and it went really well. The, the classes were very successful and it was all great. It wasn't until a while after that I started realizing that I had created a bunch of unfortunate robots or zombies by the things that I was teaching them. Um, and I found this out because some of the students would go on to further classes and then ultimately wind up in private lessons and that sort of thing. And I began noticing, and again, this was early on in my career, I began noticing that the strums that I had shown them how to play, they played those same strums for everything, everything, every song, everything. Um, and that's when I started realizing that Although strumming patterns, learning how to play strumming patterns, is something that we need to learn how to do, and it is important, there's a far more important element happening. Um, and that is learning how to add realism and, you know, what I call organic playing in, into your strumming when you play guitar. So what we're going to do right now is we're not even going to worry about the left hand. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on the right hand. And what I'm going to show you right now, if you really think about this and you implement it into your playing... Your life will never be the same again. Your guitar playing will never be the same. And it doesn't matter if it's acoustic. It doesn't matter if it's electric. It doesn't matter what, what style of music you're playing. It's learning how to play the guitar like a singer would sing, a good singer would sing, right? We have got to learn how to play with dynamics. We have got to learn how to play with spatial differences, and I summarize all of those elements into a technique I call the, the ocean effect. And so what I want you to think about is this. If you were off staring in, in, at the ocean, what you're going to notice is that it's, it's, first of all, it's very captivating. It's very mesmerizing. Um, but secondly, if you look deeper at it, you're going to start noticing that it's, it's irregular. Everything about it isn't the same all the time. It's not predictable, and that's what makes it kind of fun. Sometimes you have really big waves. Sometimes you have very small waves. Sometimes you have very, you know, if it's really windy out, the, the waves are very aggressive, um, you know, white caps, all that sort of thing. And so somewhere along the line in my teaching, I started thinking about strumming very similar to that, in that what I want to do is I want to learn how to kind of pull at the emotions of the uh, the listener. Now, if I'm playing a metal song, uh, the emotion is is kind of one dimensional. But if I'm playing acoustic guitar, and this is why I have an acoustic right now, the nice thing about this is when you play, you can sort of utilize the way that you're strumming to to impact the listener. So, for instance, let me give you an example of what you don't want to do. Right? If I go. After a while, somebody's going to want to throw something at my head and just tell me to stop playing, right? The, the trick is to try and add some emotion in there. Now, again, emotion, I'm not saying that you have to cry when you play guitar, um, although maybe that works for you. I don't know. But, but the, the trick is, is using those dynamic changes like the ocean. So, for instance, if I took my strum and instead of going... Let's start off by changing the space. So I'm not just doing a pattern. I'm not going down, 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 up, down the entire time. I'm going to start changing that. By hitting in various spots. So what I want you to do to begin with here, I want you to practice just moving your hand away a little bit and start strumming down and up for me. And if you've never done this before, it's going to feel a little awkward. But believe me, it's going to work for you. So, I want you to go like this with me. I want you to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you're not strumming anything. Now, what I want you to do is as brainlessly as human, humanly possible, I want you to move into the strings and away from the strings. Don't think about a pattern. Just move in and out. 
like the wave of an ocean, right? It's getting bigger, getting smaller. We're moving in, we're moving out. Hey, Steve Stein here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these sorts of videos, please subscribe to the channel. Now, by now, there should be some other videos available for you to watch on my left or right, so click on those to check those out as well. Now, all these videos are just smaller chunks of my larger videos from the main YouTube channels. One is Guitar Zoom, and the other one is Steve Stein Guitar Lessons. You can look those up and subscribe to those as well. And be sure to check out the premium guitar courses and lessons available at guitarzoom.com.